Hello everyone. Welcome to Static GK quiz number 90. This video is aimed to help you with your central and state government job examinations. I'm Ritrisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. Which among the following seas is known for highest salinity? The correct answer is the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea bordering Israel, the West Bank and Jordan is a salt lake whose banks are more than 400 meter below sea level, the lowest point on dry land. Its famously hypersaline water makes floating easy and its mineral rich black mud is used for therapeutic and cosmetic treatments at area resorts. The surrounding desert offers many oases and historic sites. What is normally found in the western side of the continent situated near tropics? Most of the world's deserts found on the western margins of continents in the subtropics is because the prevailing winds in tropics are tropical easterly winds. The tropical easterly winds become dry by the time they reach the western margins of the continents and so they bring no rainfall. Approximately how much time does a sun ray take reaching earth? Sunlight travels at the speed of light. Photons emitted from the surface of the sun need to travel across the vacuum of space to reach our eyes. The short answer is that it takes sunlight an average of 8 minutes and 20 seconds to travel from the sun to the earth. That is 8 into 60 plus 20 seconds or 500 seconds. What is the number of known satellites of Jupiter? There are 79 known satellites of Jupiter. This gives Jupiter the largest number of moons with reasonably stable orbits of any planet in the solar system. How many times Sun is heavier than the Earth? The Sun is 13,91,000 km across. This is about 109 times the diameter of Earth. The Sun weighs about 33,30,000 times the weight of the Earth. How long does Earth take to turn 1 degree longitude during its rotation? It takes an average of 24 hours from the time the Sun is directly over a certain longitude to the next time the Sun is directly over the same longitude. There are 360 degrees of longitude around the whole planet. So if we divide 24 hours by 360 degrees of longitude, we get 4 minutes per degree of longitude. The correct answer is 4 minutes. Which among the following dates would normally represent a winter solstice in Northern Hemisphere? The winter solstice, also known as midwinter, occurs when one of the Earth's poles has its maximum tilt away from the sun. It happens twice yearly, once in each hemisphere. For that hemisphere, the winter solstice is the day with the shortest period of daylight and longest night of the year when the sun is at its lowest daily maximum elevation in the sky. In the northern hemisphere, this is the December solstice, usually 21st or 22nd of December. And in southern hemisphere, this is the June solstice, usually 20 or 21st June. Which among the following is the longest day in the northern hemisphere? The summer solstice, also known as midsummer, occurs when one of Earth's poles has its maximum tilt towards the sun. It happens twice yearly, once in each hemisphere. For that hemisphere, the summer solstice is when the sun reaches its highest position in the sky and is the day with the longest period of daylight. At the pole, there is continuous daylight around the summer solstice. In the north, it falls usually on June 21st. What kind of forests are found in Siberian climate? Siberian type climate is typified by bitterly cold winters of long duration and cool brief summer and lies across the 60 degree north of equator. The predominant vegetation is evergreen coniferous forests. The conifers which require little moisture are best suited to this type of subarctic climate. Kip is a currency of which country? Kip is the currency of Laos since 1952. Historically, one kip was divided into 100 at. One Indian rupee is roughly 123 kip. That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.